Hey everyone, Roger here from Asset Car Experts YouTube channel and I'm on TikTok. And the N54 is out. Let me show you what it looks like in the engine bay. All right, now we did this with the transmission still in place. You can do that by using a jack to support it underneath and uh, making sure everything is unbolted. And that's just one less thing you have to touch. Something to keep in mind too, always take a good look at your motor mounts when you're doing an engine swap. You can see this one right here. This one's kind of gotten gummy and not too happy with that one right there. So I would recommend if you do have an engine out, this is the opportunity to replace these engine mounts. Well, the next step is going to be doing some resealing and swapping over some components from the old engine to the new, like the water pump and thermostat, the valve cover is new, the oil uh, sensor, oil level sensor is new. Um, and then I also want to go over something kind of interesting. If you have a flex plate that is actually the 8-bolt style, so this crank technically is the 8-bolt, and let me show you the other engine. Now this is the back of the engine. I already have the flex plate off, and this has 6 bolts. Now, both are N54 engines, but the newer engine actually comes with 6 bolts and not the 8-bolt crank. This was late, listed as an 8-bolt, but they were just counting the torque converter bolts. They didn't actually know what they were looking at. The good news is, as long as you have the flex plate that goes to this engine, you're good to go. So I have the flex plate for the 6-bolt pattern, and I just verified to make sure. This will bolt up to the N54 automatic transmission and there's the torque converter so that bolts up no problem so just so you know you can do an 8 bolt n54 swap to a 6 bolt n54 swap and it does line up and i just popped this back on so a lot of people make the mistake is only one of these holes you see this one's elongated this way and this one's elongated this way only one of these holes is for starting the bolts so it's this one right here. If you put it, if you start this with the wrong bolt, sometimes it's harder to get the other torque converter bolts to line up correctly. So you always want to find the one that is oblong this way, get it started, don't tighten it all the way, rotate, get the next one started, rotate it, get the next one started. You know, almost bottom and out, but not all the way. And then tighten them all up once they're all in. Otherwise, um, they don't line up right. But this uh, 8 to 6 bolt swap is definitely something that you can do on an N54. All right, that's all for now. I got some swappage to do.